All right, we got the uh, garage up. It's gonna be two story above the garage. You can see the beam seat there for the Paraland beam that's going across. And then those dots up there, that's the uh, anchor bolts for the we'll rim joists. view of this uh, when they get the There's framing the front up. porch out here, you'll see when we get it up. Here's the back side where that uh, glue lamp beam or that pear lamp is gonna go. We cut that out so we can get the grout in there. And we're gonna set all of this before we grout the wall. It'll be pretty cool. We got the headers here, the lentils built for the garage door. Again, there's gonna be a porch out here. We're cutting a hole out here for the anchor bolts. See he's cutting that one there and this one here. We'll see how it goes together. A few minutes. Well, we got all the holes cut. Just drill the holes in, and we're drilling these pretty tight. That's a five. Once you bit. get the um, everything laid out, then you come back and put the joists, hangers, and the uh, palm nail is kind of neat for driving Tico nail. You just put a nail on the end like that, and then push on it, and it pneumatic drives it. Pretty cool. You can hand, you can hand drive them in too. I like these uh, TJI hangers. There's not very many nails got to go in them and they hold great. And it wants to split everything. Just pull the wire up about two feet and cut it. And then we're going to straighten that wire out and tie the bolt and pull that ledger board tight. And wrap it around something like the scaffolding here. Gallon's doing and pull it tight and make a loop out of it. You see he's got it there. Get everything on the ledger, then you just lift it up and put it in place. You notice we did everything down there on the milk cartons. It's a lot easier than doing it up in the air. Push it up in there where you want it. All right, we're gonna put this ledger up here. You see how we got the bolts pushed out of the way? And then Alan's gonna grab that two by four and there. push just to hold it in place while Shorty toenails that other end. He'll take the nail gun and toenail that. And Alan will shoot this brace in. Looks like we got to go up. All right, there we go right there. Alan's going to go outside now and pull the wire through. See, Alan's pulling the wire through there. Yeah. That wire is hooked now on the, uh, on the J-bolt. Take that board and twist it then, and that'll pull that ledger tight. And then when we grout, that grout will go around all the uh, anchor bolts. We're going to land these up here. Bolts. This is the ledger board over here. Okay, we got uh, all this up. We got the wire in, pulling the bolts back. Looking good. We're going to start over here on this other side now. We're doing that second ledger now. After you get it drilled in, just put the bolts in, put the nut and washer on it, and then we'll stab it in the wall like we did over on the other one. Remember, none of this is grouted. Do it this way by putting that ledger up now. If we were doing it the other way, we'd have to put plywood dams over this because that concrete grout needs to come to the surface so that anchor bolt isn't cantilevering in the deposit block. Here we are, we got the uh, beam up. We're running some joists now. We got some temporary legs here holding that beam up. Remember, this isn't grouted yet. You can see it over here. And then we can throw some plywood on there and we'll walk right up on top of there and route the wall. See the anchor bolts there? We position them out of the way of the hangers. Here's another temporary leg here. And then we'll just route all of that in when we're ready. Got it? We'll try to get this garage up. Makes it easier to grout, plus also gives us some shade here. This is uh, 115 yesterday. Looking at it here. This is kind of a little trick here. If you come back an inch and an eighth and put a piece of tape on your gun, then you know how far to stick it into the wall to glue it. I'm going to set a block right here and show you how to do some gluing on it. Just set that inside edge on there, flip it over. Just make sure this is plumb here. To make sure it's at least straight, you can always push it over if you need to. Now remember how we put that tape on there. You just push that gun in. And you want to spot glue this about every uh, eight to 10 inches. And then we'll get a piece of scrap and we don't have to come off. back later and rasp it off. 
and she'll go outside and glue the outside. It's that simple. All right, that's it. Finishing up the walls over here, we're gonna go ahead and inspect and then grout. There's a fireplace. We'll be putting the lag bolts in the, in the bucking here before we grout. Just finishing up. See the rebar here at the, the bond beam that's just laying on the ground now, but it's going to go up top when we get up there. Some more bucking here for the last few windows. See, this is a good way to put your braces on. Uh, you can brace it off the uh, bucking on the door. And here's a temporary brace here. You just need the bracing to keep the wind from blowing it over. Uh, it's not necessarily up there to keep it straight. But you don't want the wind blowing the uh, walls over. The access holes we cut for the plumber so he could get his dirty arms over for the lavatory or the vanity. And then here's the vent pipe up here. It's stubbed up put a coupler on it that way as we run our block up we could extend that vent up 